Let's try this again. I'm at the uh, same spillway I was at a couple days ago, but today it's all dry. It's been in the 90s, almost 100 degrees, three days in a row, and it's just dried up. There's lots of fish in this little pool here in front of me. It looks like it's a good you know, four feet deep or so. But there's a little pool back here. And the fish that are in it are basically trapped. They don't have anywhere to go. It's all dry. And even if I take them and move them further downstream, cute little critter, whatever that was. I mean, there's nowhere for them to go. It's dry. Oh, there's there's a little pool with some fish in it, but that'll be dry in a couple days. There's lots of fish in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to catch them. Yeah, there's nowhere for them to swim to. I'm going to try to catch them out of here and put them into the bigger one up there. I don't see it drying up anytime soon. So this is basically a rescue mission today. And now I've walked around everywhere and scared all the damn fish. We'll just have to see how this goes. Not bragging or nothing, but I make a darn good popper. Scared something. He likes my popper. On my uh, grandpappy's reel. I'll get you off, hang on. Kaklunk. Love that sound. Been here going on two hours trying to get the fish out of that little pool right there from that pool over to here because you know another day of this heat they're gonna die there's just nowhere for them to go I got one that's it just one and I've thrown just about everything in my little box at them. And they're just not interested. And I haven't put my fingers in that water, but with as hot as it's been, and how small the pool of water that is, I imagine it's a uh, pretty toasty. I've got one last thing I want to try. With it being in the 90s and whatever, I'm glad that I'm finally in the shade. 
took a couple hours for the sun to get behind me. Worst comes to worst, I'll come back with a net. Now I'm trying to stay down low so that they can't see me. Now there's a couple little bluegill in that pool and I can't even get them to bite. The one I did get was on a little popper. Well, once I got him, it's like the other smartened up. I just had one follow it. We might have a winner here. I'll, I'll report back. Well, I saved one of them. It's hot. There was a little tiny spot downstream a little bit I think I'm going to go look at. And then I think I'm done for the day. It's just upsetting. I know they're just fish. But, you know, this lake was just stopped three years ago. Every fish is precious at this point. You know, you can't have a healthy fishery without good numbers of fish. And they may end up being okay. And if it rains tonight, they'll be perfect. You know, they'll they'll end up going downstream, and everything will be all right. So I guess let's hope for rain. Wish it brought a net. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to mosey downstream a little bit, see if uh, I can catch anything down there, and then I'm out of here. The uh, bass noodling master there is giving me a hand getting these. Uh, bass out of the hole and into the bigger hole and we got one in my hat here and we're going to release him goodbye oh I lost my hat yay we got one I think there's two more in there Bass noodling's a thing, apparently. You got one over there? Uh, no. Now we've made it so muddy, I can't see them anymore. So that's two. The one she got and the one I got earlier. Holy oh, shit, cut. It's, it's right around me. There you go. Oh. He went back underneath that ledge right there. I saw that. Using my hat as a knit. You might be a redneck. He just went out behind you.